haggis, Scotland's national dish. Or so we thought. I've been sent up here to find out what is haggis and where does it come from. So I find myself here in Persia on my way to visit the world's largest haggis producer. A good place to start, I figured. Simon. Hi, Matt. Nice to good meet to you. See you. Nice Welcome to meet to you. Scotland. Now, you can tell me all about haggis, is I'm that right? I'm going to give you a haggis education. Is that right? Yeah. Come on on. And lesson number one is the ingredients. And there's an awful lot of them. Traditional haggis is made of uh, what we call lamb pluck. Mm. And the pluck is like a set of bagpipes. You've got right. the windpipe, and yeah. you've got the, this is the lungs. Yep. And then we've got the heart. We're using ox heart. OK. They are beautiful pieces of meat. Yeah, that's a bit of protein. And then we've got the liver. All of these often overlooked organs are thrown into the mother of all mincers. In fact, this is really good meat. In fact, Simon's haggis is leaner than most burgers and sausages. He now shifts over a million a year, and the majority of those are to England. There's only so much staring at mints you can do. Yeah. <laughs> Next, oatmeal, barley, onions and herbs are thrown in, and then it's ready to be piped into the casings. This is a £200,000 state-of-the-art filling machine. Most haggis are cooked in a synthetic skin, but today we're doing it the old-school way. So this is the small intestine of the ox. Would you eat that? You wouldn't eat the skin. OK, and you're going to make some? Uh, if you like. Whoa, this machine's a bit swift. Is that it? Poor haggis. Job done. Couple of jumbo staples and they're good to go. This is the finished haggis, ready right. to go to the, to the cooker. Yeah. And leave it cooked for about two to two and a half hours. Get oh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I fear I may have lent on the lever. Oh, God, hey. sorry. It's like a pound's worth of haggis. <laughs> Time to put these babies in the bath. Very gentle water, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's about 90 degrees. OK, so this is it. That's the haggis. There's nothing more Scottish than that, is there? No. Haggis is as Scottish as it gets. So where did the delightful idea of stuffing various internal organs into an ox's intestine come from? Historian Dr Sarah Pennell from the University of Greenwich has a revelation. So these are very old books, which is why yes. they have their own pillow. Yes. This is a recipe for a good Scots haggis. Right. This is published in Edinburgh in 1782. This is the recipe that we recognise yes. today. But this is not the earliest recipe for haggis. We've got recipes published in England, mm -hmm. which talk about haggis, but with no mention of Scottish roots. It's going to upset people. So let me get this straight. The first haggis recipes are in English cookbooks from the 1600s. Wow. When did the Scots claim haggis? You start to see in the 1730s and 40s talking about the haggis in relation to the Scottish, mm -hmm. Robert Burns picks up on that, and he is definitely one of the creators mm. of the, the myth of the haggis as a Scottish dish. Do you yes. think this is going to upset me? I think it might do, yes. That's why they sent me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've drawn the short straw. I've been dispatched to share this shock discovery with the good people of Scotland. So, here's the thing. I've learnt that potentially haggis isn't Scottish at all. And the producers think it would be hilarious to send me up on Burns Night, the most sacred of Scottish nights, to go and question this fact. And they've also given me this poem to read out. See how it goes down. They really had better start giving me the foreign travel stories. Ancient tradition dictates the haggis must be welcomed with a whiskey and addressed with a Robert Burns poem. Here, fire, your honest saunchy face. Great chieftain o' the pudding race. He's got a knife. Legs and arms and heat you stick. What a glorious sight. Warm, reeking, rich. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an extra item on the agenda this evening. And this is the moment I've been dreading. Matt Tebbett has a poem about a haggis he'd like to share with us. Right, OK, OK. So, so I'm Matt, and I'll be looking at haggis. Don't shoot the messenger, cos that's all I am. OK. <clears throat> My friends, I stand here, slightly nervous, about this splendid dish they've served us. 
I hate to disturb the natural order, but haggis originated south of the border. <laughs> the history books show, and I'm not fibbing, that haggis is as English as Yorkshire pudding. Rubbish. Oh. Rubbish. Rubbish. Thank you and good night. I thought it was quite clever. Did he do it all by himself? Oh my yeah. God. <laughs>